Hi everybody, welcome to Unit 3. Let's check out the semiotic landscape. Semiotic landscapes are all about the language that's used to create zones of uh, different speech communities in public space. So let's check it out. This business is targeting customers who are speakers of, and readers of Korean and English. But in some ways it's prioritizing the Korean. You can ask your questions inside the business and conduct all the business in Korean. So there's a lot of signals that are being shown here through these signs. So this is about the semiotics of space. All right, so here in this sign, there's no words, but the placement of the sign, the symbol, we know that we're not supposed to park here unless Semiotic landscapes are a really fascinating way to look at the world around us because we can then start paying attention to how words are used to demarcate space and also give us a sense of community. And we can see that sometimes in the ways that some uh, certain words are used on packaging and also uh, in stores. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the products around here. Perhaps these asparagus are meant to be sold in both American markets and French markets. This product is using diacritics from German to seem more sophisticated and therefore more expensive. Well, that's all for me right now. I will see you on Canvas.